immigrant overseas, grew up in Belgium. We had Italian neighbors on either side of our house. I have on a Tuesday night a primi, a secondi, contorni, and like have these like really drawn out meals. And that's where I first kind of built an affinity for eating pasta. I'm Philip Krajak and I'm the chef and owner of Rolf and Daughters in Nashville, Tennessee. So the idea of the restaurant it was really first and foremost just to have an accessible place that you could eat at every day. We're butchering everything whole, we're baking bread, we're making pasta, trying to do as much as possible here. We're making essentially fresh dried pasta, right? So fundamentally it's semolina and water. We'll do different mixes of flours depending on what texture or what end result we would like. There's a few simple steps that we use in the restaurant to ensure a quality, final, handmade pasta product. I find it best to work with pasta, especially handmade in small batches. This way you can keep the bulk of the dough covered, produce a small amount of noodles, and you don't lose any of the product due to drying or cracking. It's really important to keep it covered as much as possible with plastic wrap. If you don't, it'll form a skin and dry out. This will affect the final product and texture of the noodles. When you're shaping the orecchietti, it's important not to use too much flour. You want some tension between the dough and your work surface. And then for me personally, I like to shape it with a paring knife. You kind of have two sides to it. There's the smooth cup side, which tends to grab condiment or sauce. And then you have the exterior that has a little rough texture to it. The process of making it, be it rolling out the dough, cutting it into small pieces, it's just rewarding. I think people can tell whether something's real or not. And that level of you know, perceived authenticity in what we're doing and what we're offering to people is really important.